right, now we're going to be getting into one of the top solo potential units in the game, uh, and this will be his showcase. And we're talking about Hades, okay? Hide, aka Hide, all right? Now, if you guys do find that you like this video, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe for the best dislike content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So we don't got no time to waste, all right? Now, let's talk a little bit about hide all right now hide is a very intriguing unit i would say overall very interesting um it's going through a lot of different changes you know since i've been playing but i really do feel like he's in such a great uh position now he actually kind of seems to have a little bit more of an identity so when we look at his uh s1 which is underworld curse so it attacks the enemy twice each dealing damage equal to 50 percent of attack while stealing two buffs and reducing the target's hp selling by 80 percent um this ceiling can be decreased all the way up to 100% but that's once you have skill ups in him and then of course the damage can also be increased as well to 65% so then you go into the passive and this is the reaper passive so hide is immune to buffs and debuffs and takes 10% reduced damage from all sources so he innately has a damage reduction um, one of the few characters that actually can do that and or if I think the only one that can do that innately just without it being like some sort of buff being applied first but yeah he is absolutely Absolutely ridiculous so then you have it granting a uh, breath of the deep stack per attempt to buff or debuff hide uh, grants 10 breath of the deep stacks upon the death of an ally um, and this goes all the way up to max 50 stacks so when taking the first deadly hit in a battle hide uh, survives and restores HP based on uh, current breath of the deep stacks and each restoring 1% of max HP now one thing that's kind of important to note here and some people might like and, I, and before you go too too deep and you like get a unit her named hercules or uh taylor and you think that he's going to be able to uh extinct hades he's not able to because technically the way that his death works it's not really a death it's like his hp drops and comes back he doesn't like die and then resurrect so it's kind of weird wording but he actually just kind of like has his hp drop and then it heals right back that's pretty much how it works right uh then when you get into its s3 which is cerberus it steals one buff from each enemy and deals damage to all enemies equal to 90 percent of attack and converts 30 percent of the damage dealt in this attack into healing and then of course as you scale this up this can go all the way up to 110 percent and then you get that one skill cooldown he does have a captain ability for resist by 50 percent that is a lot just saying that's a lot to be quite honest but then again you got to remember that uh resist does cap so in certain situations this might be useful but it is only applicable to point wars so just want to kind of put that out there now when we get into the actual build for hide um he definitely has one that i like to use which is the uh hades counter attack set uh now when we're looking at actual stats uh crit damage crit rate obviously is something really nice for him the attack bonus and the attack bonus now if you want to do speed you can but i usually don't have to worry about that i have him in a team usually that's rotating him so not really too much of a big deal if we were to look at another one like again uh that you could use it would be like hades cr uh crit rate but anything else i mean this is the most optimal set for him because you want him to constantly be able to retain and or heal himself because he can't be buffed uh in correlation to also debuff so that's kind of the double-edged sword or the catch 22 to his passive is that he can't be buffed which means you can't give him regen you can't give him immunity uh but that in turn means that he can't be affected by uh cc's he can't be affected by poisons so there's a lot of different like perks to it but there's also so the downsides to it now when we're looking at ascensions uh he is going to have speed plus five which that is actually a significant amount in this game uh he's going to have accuracy plus 15 percent and then he's going to get an additional 20 percent attack all right so those are some stats that you can look at for subs that actually end up being really really important so all in all and through and through this is going to be the build for high keep in mind y'all this is a troll team this is a team i'm using just to kind of emphasize him getting his stacks quicker you might have actually seen this in pvp and yes if you see this and you kill the extra star mine around the side you're going to be helping this high potentially solo you so do not do that please just don't do it all right now we're going to go ahead and show this off he is going to have his resist buff as well um not that it's really necessary for him but if there were any people on the team they would be able to take use or advantage of that so let's go ahead and get into this now i'm expecting that those starimon do die 
Um, they're a lot quicker on the other side, so we'll see exactly how much more damage will be taken. Uh, now, they killed and gave me 40 stacks already. Uh, the cool thing is, is that I do have them on counterattack set, so we will be able to retaliate if they hit me pretty hard. Uh, but let's go ahead and start working on this team. All right, so we're going to start off with the S3. And yeah. <laughs> yeah that uh that looks about right give me some hp back kaylee's gonna go in and uh try to try to do something here all right hung ua is gonna do a heal um and then we got our res look at that hit him now look this is this is why this is why hide is dangerous bro <laughs> like like straight up bro like straight up that resurrection is so crucial now that puts him at 47 stacks so we could easily get rid of this ling he's absolutely out of here um so let's see what they're able to do now um absolutely nothing so we're gonna absolutely wreck them get them out okay and then we're just kind of left with the hung ua and that's gg in a nutshell i know that was probably fast but you got to see a lot just happen that is the, the 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 problem you have now if you kill <laughs> the starry mod around him or any of the units around him you have to deal with a hide potentially soloing you um you can kind of counteract it with like two uh nukes um units like lynch out end up being really good at that even sanders ends up being a really good unit to kind of face up against a hide because ap pushback still does affect him is actually a really hard counter to him so that's one thing to kind of consider there but that is going to be the build for Hyde and just kind of showcasing how OP he could be. Obviously, this was a little bit of an exaggerate, exaggerated scenario, but in an actual team composition, this very well can happen to you and probably has happened to some of you guys. But that's going to be that for this, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.